Hi, Christopher Pogue here with Anarchy Movie Reviews. Uh, well, this segment, I am going to actually uh, review Mayans MC. I'm going to a television show, an FX, um, do something different this time. Usually just do movies. I'm going to branch out into television now. We're going to golden age of television, supposedly. So uh, we're going to talk about that uh, this time instead. Okay, so Mayans MC. Uh, you know, I'll be honest, I wasn't uh, looking forward to uh, watching this uh, because, you know, I'd heard about a prequel to Sons of Anarchy that uh, Kurt Sutter was considering making. And uh, so when I heard, uh, you know, he came out with this instead, I was a little disappointed, to be honest. Uh, it turns out, though, this is, uh, this is a really exciting spinoff of, uh, of Son Sons of Anarchy. Uh, you know, it, uh, it brings back some of the, the Sons of Anarchy characters, uh, you know, which, uh, which is fun to see, but it has its own compelling story too. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a warm up, like, you know, like the first seasons of, of Southern, Southerns of, uh, Sons of Anarchy did. Uh, it, you know, it just kind of hits the ground running. Uh, you know, it, by having an interesting backstory while also having a lot going on in the in the present, in the present story. Uh, it's it's about a young prospect in a Southern California uh, charter of the Mayans uh, Motorcycle Club named Easy, played by J D Pardo. Uh, he's also and he's also a Fed snitch trying to get off for for killing a cop. Uh, as you may remember from. Uh, Sons of Anarchy, uh, the, the Mayans, you know, they mule drugs for the Galindo drug cartel, right? So, uh, but uh, a lot of them, a lot of the Mayans, they're now kind of getting tired of, uh, of doing that now. And uh, so, as a, as a matter of fact, Easy and his, uh, and his club member brother, uh, along with a few other members, you know, they start uh, uh, secretly working with a Mexican rebel group that uh, that don't like that uh, that their country is is controlled by by drug cartels, and uh, you know and they and they all work together to to bring Galindo down. <clears throat> now, on top of that, uh, yeah, uh, Galindo is is the name of the drug cartel, by the way. Uh, on top of that, Easy's ex-girlfriend is married to uh, this Galindo guy who runs the drug cartel, and uh, and has a and has a baby with him. So there, so there's a lot going on uh, in this plot-wise, along with uh, some you know fun cameos uh, from the past show. Uh, the recent this recent episode brought back uh, Lincoln Potter, uh, you know the guy from the fourth season of the Sons of Anarchy. He was the he was the funny weirdo prosecutor guy played by Ray McKinnon, right? And uh, you know it's been about seven years since uh, Galindo's CIA uh, deal ruined his RICO case against the Sons and the IRA, and so he's he's still holding a grudge and trying to right that wrong, which you know which is nice to see. You know Potter he's a hilariously eccentric uh, character, and I was curious to see what happened to him. Uh, after he he left at the end of the fourth season of Sons, so you know that's that's fun to see. Uh, so I read in an interview uh, that that Kurt Sutter did. He was worried about uh, making a show with Mexican criminals, uh, and you know in this per particular current uh, uh, political climate, and you know in it uh, he was worried it could perpetuate negative stereotypes. Uh, Thing is, though, the the show, like Sons of Anarchy, uh, which was a predominantly white show that never had to, you know, deal with this concern, right? Uh, humanizes criminals without justifying them, and uh, it looks at the details of the the south of the border criminal elements instead of giving broad generalizations like you know like Trump does. If anything, you know, this is an important show because it showcases both sides of the argument. I think. Uh, you know, without being too political, it's it's like like any great piece of art. It you know draws you you in with smart drama, but also uh, teaches you things. 
So uh, it's definitely a show worth checking out. Uh, was, uh, I was pleasantly surprised by it, to say the least. And uh, it's on uh, it's on FX Tuesday nights. It's really decent show, so I would I would definitely check it out. All right, and you can uh, you can read my reviews, and we take we do take review submissions at my website anarchymoviereviews.com. And uh, yes, please check it out. I, I would uh, absolutely publish your work. And, if, uh, if it's up to my standards. So, uh, yes, please check it out. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.